Hi, I'm Laura Flanders of Grit TV, and we've just wrapped up five years of production. Imagine that, five years of an independently produced online TV project that's all about giving meaningful attention to the people we call the world's most important marginalized experts. In May 2008, we started Grit TV with the mission of changing society by changing the public debate. Changing the public debate by inserting into that debate the people on the cutting edge of change the people you never see on TV. At Grit TV, we have gone from a daily show to a weekly show online, produced these days by an entirely female crew out of my New York downtown home. It's a low-profit affair that's been bringing you high-quality coverage, and you can find our reporting on our dedicated website, grittv.org, or our YouTube channels, or Facebook pages, or you can follow us on Twitter. Our reporting not only brings you the analysis and news from people who have reason to believe that important changes do, people who are making that change every day where they live. But it also empowers those organizations that rarely get media attention by giving them quality interviews they can use to get attention elsewhere. We believe in bringing you voices like those of Garel Perowitz, who is imagining a new future for capitalism, for America, he calls it after capitalism, in fact. We believe in bringing you the voices of those who are organizing on the front lines, the workers who were never seen, who lived in the shadows of our economy, and who have increasingly been leading the charge when it comes to organizing in this new crazy global economy. People like Saket Soni and Aijen Pu and Sarita Gupta, Saru Jayaraman of the Restaurant Workers, or Beravi Desai from the Taxi Workers Alliance. We traveled all the way to Los Angeles this year to cover the AFL-CIO convention we were the only TV media there, the only reporters on the ground at this historic once every four years gathering of the AFL-CIO. It's just the kind of thing we do at Grit TV. In addition to the in-studio interviews, we also believe in live events, public events that can show some of our marginalized experts at their best. We reach new audiences by bringing together new groups of people to talk about critical issues, like what's a real risk? We started a new series in collaboration with SLAM, the Streb Lab for Action Mechanics, and my partner, Elizabeth Streb. We brought together Bill T. Jones, the award-winning choreographer, and Majora Carter, the urban developer, to talk about how can arts and politics inform one another to create spaces where creativity can flourish. We partnered with V-Day to present another panel on the state of female America this year with a focus on justice and economic justice. That's coming too. And with the Municipal Arts Society, we hosted a panel on women as city builders and the legacy of famous urbanist Jane Jacobs. It's just part of what we're doing at Grit TV, online, in video, on print, and live in events. Bear in mind that Grit TV is a non-commercial project. We're not funded by corporations or governments, just by you. We think that's the most honest way to go. It's the most exciting, too. Sometimes it's a little risky. But hey, from our downtown studio in New York, we're willing to take a few risks for social change. Are you? Support Grit TV. GritTV.org. And thanks.